getting a bit of lift there and coming in, your legs will come down, you just go off. Hey, it's over there, you tonker toy. It's here. You're supposed to have eyes like a flipping eagle. Oh, the old show off again. Have to do it. Come on then, up here. And on. The International Centre for Birds of Prey has now been open 42 years this, this year. It's probably the biggest centre of its kind in the world and it's certainly now the oldest. And we lead the world in the captive breeding field, as you can see here. We've bred 64 species of birds of prey, so if you visit, you might get to see something as special as this, which is a baby griffin vulture. Over the gate, yep. And on. The idea of the centre is to have people enjoy themselves when they visit and to learn something at the same time. So you'll see birds fly, you'll see them in training, you'll see them breeding, you'll see them in aviaries. And we have owls, eagles, vultures, falcons, kites, harriers, you name it, you should be able to see it here. That's what you want to look at when you look at a bird of prey. It's that, it's feet that tell you what it can catch. And the fleas on a red kite are pathetic. <laughs> They're not much bigger than a kestrel, when you consider it's a huge bird. Good Lord, where do you think you've got your manners from? There are three flying demonstrations a day, so you can stay just for one, or you can see all three, and every single one of them is different. You will get the chance to look round all the aviaries to see the trained birds, and you'll also have the chance to see the gardens, have picnics, walk around the field, explore the wood, and take lots of photographs. If you're into photography, this is a phenomenal place to come because the chances of getting really good, exciting photographs are very high. We will be flying for you again at two o'clock. Visiting with kids is great fun. There's a cafe here so they can have a meal here or you can picnic outside. There are dogs that will probably come and help you with your picnic. There's a shop here and on occasion we try and get the children in, involved in the flying demonstrations as well. I think this is a California condor, so this has to be extremely rare. Uh, rare. Only 300 in the wild and several in that box over there. And this is uh, um, an extremely, I'm not sure what type species of eagle owl.